Well, so David, uh, here at the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge, uh, this was a very special place for John Craxton, and I guess uh, the perfect place to have a retrospective of his work. Uh, it's, a, it's a lovely space, it's a lovely gallery. Uh, it's a gallery I've always been fond of ever since I was an undergraduate at Cambridge. I mean, the Fitzwilliam has a, a, a uniquely welcoming atmosphere. Uh, and maybe it's because it's in a university town and, and young people come here and with open minds and yes. so on and, and are welcomed here. Yes. Um, and I know that John uh, said that it was one of his favourite museums. I imagine because of that. Mm -hmm. Do you think people in Cambridge who don't know a lot about John's work will find this a revelation when they come? Um, difficult to know. I, I, I hope they will suddenly say, these are thrilling pictures. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are... They're full of delight, they're champagne, they're a thrill, um, which they are, in my view, um, are just looking at them lifts the spirits. Um, it's, it's, um, it's the biggest collection, I gather, of, of his work. Yes, been. I mean, his output is, is really pretty big, mm. I mean, um, and, but nonetheless, it is, um, this is the biggest collection, the most comprehensive collection, I think, that, that, that has been so far. Um, and it, 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 in a sense, it's probably John's own fault because um, he, uh, as a young man, was, was a, a bit of a tortured soul. And you can see the early pictures in the, in the gallery in which he's a, uh, represented him as a sort of enclosed, mm. imprisoned, uh, neurotic. Uh, yes. type. And then he goes to, uh, to the Mediterranean and is suddenly, suddenly in love with, with the light yes. and, with, and, and, and with the champagne and excitement and pleasure. Um, and it's in all these pictures. So David, thank you very much. Pleasure.